Bernard, could you tell me uh, you have just reopened the uh, Saint Pompidou Shanghai? How does it work? Yes, indeed, we we reopened. You know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, well, it works. Uh, the exhibitions, both of them, uh, are open. Uh, the public is coming back, but of course, with as you imagine, uh, a lot of protections, and uh, it's time to care, as we say in English. Uh, but let's say that it seems that um, the energy, the vitality and the expectation uh, of uh, most of the, the people are intact. So we have to follow in this next week um, how the people is coming back, if the activities start really to be as it was when we opened. And in the meantime, we are actually working with the team in Shanghai in order to plan the next exhibitions. And what as is the know, attendance? What is what? The, the attendance? People are coming back? Yes, they do. Uh, it's progressive, as you imagine. Uh, but anyway, if you go on the site, you will see that uh, people are coming back. Okay. Yes, definitely. And, and but so of course, it seems to me that it is more a Chinese public than an international uh, one. For sure. Of course, we know why. And we have a great expectation, of course, uh, which will be, well, let's say summertime, and of course, you know, uh, in September, when the activities must be, let's say, stronger than it is now. And so you you spoke to me about uh, some of your project and that you have to imagine projects who, which deal more with the news and with what's going on in the world now. And you gave the example of Global Resistance, the, the show you ought to open in June. Could you speak about that? Sure. We are supposed to open by the end of June for uh, more than four months which means that even if we have to postpone it a little bit, uh, the show will definitely open for a long time. So we are actually working on this exhibition for a while. Christine Marcel and uh, Alicia Nock are both together working on it. It's a collection of works which... Uh, most of them are coming from new acquisitions, which uh, uh, we did through the, uh, the help of the friends of Centre Pompidou. And for, uh, let's say, a few years, let's say three, four years, we decided to develop a, a big selection of works which come from uh, all over the world, but especially from um, a lot of countries which have been in, on war or in crisis, you know. And um, this selection of works, you know, is definitely a core list which uh, we wanted to uh, present as an exhibition itself. Mm -hmm. So this is the result of a huge research uh, which has been developed by different people uh, at the Pompidou, including Catherine David, Christine Marcel, as I said before, Alicia Nock, she has been working in Africa, as okay. you know, as Christine Marcel has been working, you know, on mid uh, this time. And the result will be, for me, um, definitely a, a key point and a, a real statement uh, inside the development of our collection. Okay, and you, you, uh, you were very ambitious about uh, the program with the Matisse 
uh, a Matty show and a Charles Ra Charles Ray show. So what will go on with that? Of course, I am ambitious, and uh, I will remain ambitious for such an institution forever. Well, let's say that everything we planned will happen. Of course, we don't know yet when we are going to reopen. But I must say that if you look at the next coming exhibition, that Matisse, you know, which is the celebration of the birthday of, of the 150 years, you know, of Matisse, will open when? I don't know yet, but I expect a lot from this exhibition, which is quite unusual, because Aurélie Verdier, with the curator who's been working on it, you know, did something specific on Matisse and his writers, how Matisse has been perceived, you know, for a while by all the readers, the writers, the critics. The Z show is an important one. When do we open? Let's say uh, it was supposed to open by the, the, the middle of May. Of course, it will be a little bit later, but it will come, definitely. Uh, concerning, you know, the Charles, uh, the Charles Ray, we decided with Charlie himself and Jean-Pierre Criqui, who is in charge of the exhibition, to postpone it because of the fact that, as you know, this show has been planned in accord with the Pinot Fan Foundation, which has to stop, as we had to do, you know, uh, its uh, works, and has to decide to postpone, you know, its ouverture. So this show uh, has been postponed for 2021-2022. We will fix it as soon as we know the dates, you know, of both institutions. But Charlie, the artist, who is definitely a great artist, you know, who is unknown in France, you know, agreed that it was definitely a better idea than to, to try to bricolage, you know, uh, before, you know, we reopen. But in the meantime, we decided to give to the great German artist Hito Steiger, the space where we were supposed to do the Charles Ray exhibition. By the way, it's helpful because it enlarges a little bit, you know, the exhibition. It's, of course, another display, but Marcella Lista and Florian Ebner, both curators of the exhibition, are totally involved with Ito uh, in order to redefine, you know, the design of the exhibition. Okay. okay. And if we talk about other exhibitions, you know, because we're always talking about, you know, the, the, the big, you know, exhibitions, but all the other exhibitions will happen. I'm very sad because we did open just before we needed to close a wonderful Vols exhibition, the German, you know, artist. But we'll find a way to keep it open a little bit later. As for China, Africa, as you know, most of the exhibitions are connected to, well, let's say, the the, the actualities and the, the, the political content in which we are. And this exhibition I trust a lot, and I do hope that we'll find a way as soon as possible for us to reopen them, then to keep them open a little bit later.